few seconds here as soon as I can get some confirmation here from YouTube that I'm actually streaming because right now it doesn't look like I'm streaming why doesn't it look like I'm streaming that is kind of weird I might be talking to myself right now I don't know no I am streaming okay never mind I am streaming let's get going okay so first of all sorry for that if you're watching afterwards you know I, I hope you just skipped or something to this part I'm gonna type it down there as well so anyhow this one has already funded five times over basically a bunch of backers 12 days to go this is a new game from Eagle Griffin games um, we have a little video here about, about it of course here's some the pledge levels basically you can pledge for one just to get in but um, so here we have the Morse Colonist. This is in the On Morse Kickstarter edition and all the stretch goals. You can go for the, uh, here's the German version. Here's the Spanish version. And what is this? Let's see. This is signed hand number sticker by Vita Lacerda. I don't know. Maybe that's cool. I don't know. Obviously, there's only 16 left of 1,000. So obviously people think that's cool. And <laughs> that's good. And Morse Vintner. Oh, then you get the Vinos as well, Vinos, and you can get the Gallerist, if you want to, you can get Lisboa, you can get Escape Plan, and then there's like retail stuff, I think, and we can get them all. <laughs> For $571, you can get like, what is it, like four games, five games? Yeah, that's cool. Um, to be honest, I don't own, own any of those games. Um, because I'm always like scared because it looks so heavy with his game, these games from Vita Lacerda. But this one, I do like the theme. So let's start talking about it. We have the game overview here. And it's sort of like you colonize Mars, which, you know, if you know me, you know that I like to colonize Mars or terraform it. But in this case, we're going to colonize it in a very cool way, like sort of worker placement. And there's all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, I'm not gonna even try to explain all the stuff in this game, but you can do so many things here. <laughs> you're gonna set up a colony basically. So there's like tiling where you build out on the map. Uh, you're going to look for these crystals and you're going to need like energy to to power your your um, plants so that you get, you can grow plants, so you get oxygen and you need the plants to, you know, get the oxygen and feed the people. So as you can see here, there's like building tiles. Uh, you have the game board. Uh, as well really cool stuff you have a lot of actions on them that you can unlock and so on you have like a shelters here you have the resources really cool having the resources here as tiles and having crystals i think they look amazing um what else is there like mission markers the uh, yeah we have like the buildings the colonists uh, you have a rover you have ships you have robots um Scientist meeples, cubes, of course, box of cards here. Here's the draft rule book if you want to check it out yourself. I'm not going to go that deep into it, I'm just doing this quick overview here to get a sense for it. There's the stretch goals. Let's see. So, uh, fully funded, the solo mode added. That sounds amazing. I do like solo, and especially if it's like a really heavy game like this one, I do like solo so I can just, you know, dig into it myself, really learn the game, and play the game solo, and then I can bring it to my friends once I feel like I can, you know, teach it. <laughs> Astronaut tokens, really cool stuff. Uh, robot tokens, we have those. And the rover tokens, wow, this looks great, all these meeples. And let's see, then the ship tokens, colonist meeples will be upgraded to custom cut colonist meeples. They look more like a spacesuit, basically. The shuttles have a meeple. Uh, the colony marker is a meeple. Wow. Uh, Scientist Meeple, uh, the colony marker is silk screened. Oh wow, and they are silk screened. Yeah, you get like a yeah. This look, this looks so nice. The robot here, instead of you know some games use stickers, which I don't think is that nice to have to sit and sticker your meeples or you know it, oftentimes it doesn't look that good. But this looks nice. Uh, silk screened. I don't think I heard that you know a term before. The astronauts. Wow, scientists. So much stuff. Box insert upgrade. Oh wow! Uh, here we have dual layer player boards. If they get six thousand five hundred backers, how many was it now? Five thousand. Oh, it's not that far away. I think they're gonna make it. This game is really hot as well. So, okay, wait. Did I scroll too much now? Yeah, I did. 
Uh, so let's go back up here. Oh, here's the rundown from Rado. I did check that out. I can recommend you to check that out so you get a sense for what the game is all about. He he did a good, really good job of, of showing off the how the game runs. Even you know, there's a lot to take in. Um, here's the official tutorial as well. Um, heavy cardboard. Of course, I can guess. Imagine that they like it. <laughs> they like heavy stuff. Tabletopia. You can try the game there, and there's international versions. Um, here's the pledge levels. So let's see. I would probably go for this one, I guess. The Mars Colonist. Um, because because I mean this is cool to have a signed you know hand number sticker, but um, I don't know. For me, it's it's not that exciting with those stuff. I just want a good game. Mars Colonist. Yeah, they basically go through the different levels here. And I, I like that they did a, like a level four if you want Vinyos and on Mars. <laughs> so yeah, Mars Vintner. Uh, the Space Pirate. Escape Plan is a game I would like to try out as well. And here's the, if you want to have more of them. Here's the here's the super pack, the Mars Mog module. Getting all those games. I mean, for me, if I had the money, I would go for this one because I don't have any of these games. And that would be kind of cool. I don't, I can't afford that. And... I guess that's about it. Here's a little bit of the designer and artist. Ion Tool is a great illustrator, of course. Seen a lot of his work in games. And we have some shipping info as well. You can check out here. What is it to Sweden? It's in Europe, right? And it's here. So 25, I guess. Yeah. Wow. That's, you know, it's probably a big heavy box, of course. So in total for me, that would be... 25 it would be what is it 114 so i need to think this through because the thing is i like i mean it looks really nice i do want to play it the issue is only for me is will i get it to the table i don't want to have games just standing in my shelf and and not making it to the table and a game this heavy could be tricky uh, i could play it with one of my gaming groups probably and not the other one so yeah it, it could be tricky i have to consider this one uh, and I already, of course, backed an Acrony expansion and the Terraforming Mars Turmoil just this week. So you never know. I don't know. But if it's for you, if you really like heavy euros, if you're interested in, you know, the theme, I love the theme on Mars. So, you know, go check it out for yourself. I will put the link in the description as well. After I, I'm i done with this, I will edit the video a little bit and I'll put that in there. So go check that out if it sounds interesting to you and thank you for watching. I'll be back with more of these kind of, you know, quick Kickstarter, just talk throughs. I think it could be fun to just look through upcoming or new Kickstarters and talk through them a bit. If you like it as well, please, you know, remember to like the video to show me that you appreciate this type of videos. Tell me in the comment section as well if you like me to continue doing these sort of just overviews, just sharing my thoughts with about games that are coming on Kickstarter. Thank you so much for watching and have a great evening, morning, whenever you're watching, if you're watching this afterwards. Take care. Bye-bye.